The CompTIA a certification is designed to prove that an exam candidate has competency in computer installation, maintenance, troubleshooting, and security, as well as basic networking. The exam is vendor neutral, which means that the certification does not focus on just one company's products. Instead, the certification objectives range across many technologies, services, hardware, and software. It has great value in the marketplace as an indicator of a prospective employee's skill level, proving to employers that a job seeker has the necessary computer knowledge to complete their tasks with minimal supervision. In order to become CompTIA a certified, you must pass two exams, the Essentials Exam, number 220-701, and the Practical Application Exam, number 220-702. The exams each consist of 100 questions and are known as linear exams. This means that you can go backward or forward within the exam, mark items, and change answers if necessary. The exams consist primarily of multiple choice questions, but you might see an occasional matching question. CompTIA reserves the right to change the bank of questions while still adhering to the objectives. The tests are administered on a computer within a very easy-to-use program. The majority of the time, you will simply click the letter of the corresponding correct answer. The exams can be taken in many languages, including English, Spanish, German, and Japanese. The passing scores are 675, Essentials, and 700, Practical Application, and are graded on a scale of 100 through 900. This equates roughly to 72% and 75% respectively, though it is difficult to compute exactly. Many candidates will prepare with practice exams and attempt to score 85% or higher in order to be ready for the real exams. You have a full hour and a half to take each exam. If you finish early, you can and should return to the questions and review your answers. Although it is possible, it is not recommended to take both exams on the same day. In order to take the exams, you must first register. This is not done with CompTIA, but instead with a testing entity. The two options include Sylvan Prometric or Pearson View. Have personal identification such as a social security number and a credit card ready when registering. Either registering body's website can aid in finding the closest testing center to you. They can also help you by phone if necessary. Many examinees find the following topics to be more difficult portions of the exam. Topics such as the front side bus and other buses, CPU speeds, and types of processors can be difficult to remember accurately for some examinees. Be sure to take notes on these topics and quiz yourself often to help memorize them. The exams will question an examinee on how to troubleshoot windows, especially the second exam. Due to the sheer volume of troubleshooting scenarios, it is recommended that the examinee install operating systems on a separate computer or within a virtual machine and practice breaking and fixing. There are many types of printers and many things that can go wrong with each. An examinee should study the CompTIA six-step troubleshooting process and really spend a lot of time memorizing the various reasons a printer could fail, especially laser printers, and how to fix those issues. The new 700 series exams have an increased amount of security. Examinees should spend time researching how to secure their individual computer and wireless router. The exam can test you on over 30 different commands. Seeing as how many of these commands have different parameters or options, it would behoove the examinee to write down each command, its description, and an example in an attempt to memorize each of them. A person who wishes to take the A-plus exam should have prior work experience in the computer field. 500 hours of hands-on experience as recommended by CompTIA. It is recommended that the person have some networking experience as well. Every examinee should first look at the CompTIA objectives for the a exams, which are listed later in this article. They can also be downloaded from CompTIA's website. In a nutshell, the a objectives are divided into two exams and then broken into domains. It is helpful to review these objectives as they are grouped. When preparing for the a exam, it is wise to use more than one study resource. Using just one study guide might provide you with a narrow view of security. By using various forms of study materials, including books, videos, and practice questions, you will become a more well-rounded examinee and greatly increase your chances of passing the exam. 
PearsonITCertification.com is your trusted source for certification preparation materials, including books, ebooks, videos, flashcards, simulations, and more. Connect to us via Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and subscribe to our on certification channel in iTunes. Generally, the CompTIA A Plus certified technician will move on to the CompTIA Network Plus exam. These are part of what many technicians call the CompTIA Triad, which includes the A Plus, Network Plus, and Security Plus certifications. With the A Plus certification under your belt, it is possible to start engaging in a job search for positions such as PC technician, bench tech, field tech, and possibly even land support specialist, depending on your experience. Have you taken the CompTIA A Plus exam? Share your experiences by posting to the CompTIA A Plus thread in our forums. Good luck!